Okay, everyone, let's try and use long division to divide 16x cubed minus 12x squared plus 20x minus 3 by 4x plus 5. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to go 4x plus 5 needs to be, be divided into 16x cubed minus 12x squared plus 20x minus 3. All right, so we're gonna go lead term to lead term. Here we go. What do I need to multiply 4x by to get up to 16x cubed? Well, the four needs to multiply by four and the x needs to get multiplied by x squared, so I'm looking at 4x squared. I'm gonna multiply this monomial to this binomial. We're gonna get 16x cubed. Um, five times 4x squared is 20x squared. I'm gonna change the signs on those because I'm gonna subtract that binomial these cancel by design. We've got negative 12x squared minus another 20x squared. I'm looking at negative 32x squared. If I look at the degree here, this is degree one, this is degree two. All right, since this one's larger, I'm gonna keep on going. So I'm gonna bring down the 20x and we're gonna go lead term to lead term. All right, 4x, if I wanna get it to negative 32x squared, I think I need a negative 8x. Let's multiply monomial to binomial. I've got negative 32x squared. Um, five times negative x is negative 40x. I'm gonna subtract that binomial, so I'm gonna change the signs. Cancels, I'm looking at 60x. All right, degree one, degree one, they're the same. I gotta keep on going, I'll bring the three down. Um, 4x to get to 60x is going to be 15. So I'm gonna have 60x, um, 15 times five is 75. Let me change the signs here. Um, I've got negative 78. I'm finally in a position where the degree in my divisor is bigger than this deg or the, the degree of this, this number because it's technically x to the zero. So I know I can stop. And that is my remainder which would ultimately tell me, if I want to write this up, that if I took the ratio of 16x cubed minus 12x squared plus 20x minus 3, if I look at the fraction of that polynomial divided by 4x plus 5, I know that to be equal to 4x squared minus 8x plus 15, and then I have this remainder, and you do whatever your remainder is in ratio to that divisor. Okay, and that's polynomial long division. It takes a little while, but it gets the job done. And, and like I said, there's gonna be one time when I use this, and when we get to graphing rational functions and something called slant asymptotes, that is the only time I still use long division. Every other time I use synthetic division. So we're gonna to flip to the next example, and I'm gonna show you how to use synthetic division. All right, I'll see you in a few, bye.